What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So just a couple days ago, Google dropped Android 15 Beta 2 for eligible Pixel phones, as well as partner devices. Having said that, Beta 2 brought a ton of new features that we did a whole video on. We're gonna keep this one short and sweet and just talk about what's changed in Beta 2.1 on our Pixel 8 Pro. So there was a new special feature that Google added called private spaces and it was causing some issues on the home screen. That is purely what beta 2.1 is here to resolve and I'm happy to say it does that. So let's go ahead, jump in the phone and go from there. We'll take a look at the build number. We'll take a look at private spaces. Let's go. All right. So jumping right into this beta 2.1 is going to have a new build number, and as it's shown in the last couple builds, it does scroll across there, but it goes through too quickly. So let's jump right into settings, about phone, and here is the new build number for beta 2.1. It's gonna be AP31.240426.2.1. And while we're in settings, let's just go ahead and jump into what we were discussing earlier and make this video pretty quick for you guys today. So if you search for private, private spaces will come up under security and privacy. And as you can see, that new option is right here at the bottom. It wants to verify it's you. And now we can get our private space all set up. And if you were not aware of what this was from our prior video, what this does, it keeps private apps in a separate space that allows you to hide or lock. And if you want to check on all of the options here, you can go to private space lock to use your device screen lock, turn that on and off as you need, lock private spaces automatically after uh, the, the device restarts after five minutes of inactivity or every time the device locks. The other options are hide private space when it's locked. If you choose to do that or not, you can turn that on or off and it's letting you to know how to access private space when hidden. You're gonna to go to in the search bar, private spaces, tap private spaces, and then unlock it, kind of just what we did here. And then you can even delete your private space holistically if that's what you want. In the description, it says your private space will be removed from your device. All private apps and data will be deleted. You cannot undo this action. And then obviously you have that little disclaimer right down below here. That says apps in your private space won't appear in permission manager, privacy dashboard, and other settings when your private space is locked. Your private space can't be moved to a new device. You'll need to set up another private space if you want to use it on another device. Anyone that connects your device to a computer or installs harmful apps on your device may be able to access your private space. So yeah, that has finally been fixed. So now any issue that existed prior on the home screen should be resolved. I haven't taking this for a full walkthrough yet. Stay tuned to the channel. We will be doing that here shortly uh, if you guys want to. Otherwise, that is really the only main change in this build. We had a ton of other options and changes that actually transpired prior with obviously beta two in general, but that's where we are with this one. Short, quick video for you guys today. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for all of the other Android 15 beta scenarios. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.